believe it or not, these two light bulbs are being controlled by DMX. Recently, Test Subjects was hired to work on some rooms that had some Hue light bulbs inside of them. The problem with Hue light bulbs and smart lights in general is there's no real plug-and-play way to get them to do things on a trigger, at least not easily. And so we thought to ourselves, hmm, I wonder if somebody has created some DMX light bulbs. Turns out, they have. These things right here. They're made by a company called MyLight, or MeLight. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it is M-I-L-I-G-H-T. And they have created these light bulbs and a little transmitter that will get your rooms doing stuff just like any other DMX fixture will. And we're going to show you how they work, how to get them programmed, and how cool they can look in your escape room. Let's look at how to program the bulbs to the transmitter. Uh, first off, you need to plug it in. This is a five volt uh, plug that it comes with like this, and it turns on. And as you can see, the first thing that it pops up with here, uh, it says D016. Now that is the DMX address there, but if you press plus and minus, it goes to the channels. And each channel can have a, okay, they claim infinite. So a ridiculous number of bulbs on here and there are 16 channels. So that is 80 channels of DMX total because each channel takes five sliders. And we'll talk about that more later. So how do you pair your bulbs to said channels? Uh, it's actually very easy. So what's gonna happen is I am going to turn on the bulbs and within three seconds of turning on the bulbs, you're gonna hit the set button three times, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these bulbs on channel one. Uh, just that I'm gonna put both bulbs on channel one and you'll see what happens here. So I do this, go one, two, three, and now they blink green three times. Uh, and that means that they are paired to this transmitter, right? Uh, both, all the bulbs. And what's cool about this is you can pair them all at the same time. So what I've done is I've, uh, as you can see here, I've hooked them up to a, uh, to a, one of these things, a <laughs> power strip. So I can turn them all on, all on at the same time. So this is, you're gonna wanna do this before hooking up, uh, hooking them up into your, uh, your room. And if you can put them, turn them all on at the same time in your room, that's fine. But uh, you might wanna find a way to just do this. You can do it one at a time. Uh, and I'll show you that in a second because you're going to have to do that for different bulbs in different groups. So we're going to show you how to unpair it, okay? So to unpair the bulb, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on, same thing, and I'm going to hit the set button five times. One, two, three, four, five. So now it blinks red five times, which means unpaired. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place this bulb on channel one and this bulb on channel two. So I've got the thing set for channel one here, and I'm just gonna turn this bulb off. And I'm gonna turn this bulb back on. One, two, three. So now this bulb is only paired to channel one right now, okay? Now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna hit channel two, which is, that's channel 16. Channel two right there. And I'm gonna turn this one off and turn this one back on and do the same thing, one, two, three. So now this bulb is on channel two, this bulb is on channel one. It's that easy to program these things and get them all on the right channels, okay? So this is the thing you want, you don't have to have this hooked up to DMX or anything like that. This is just the programming phase to get them where you want. So kind of figure out what bulbs you want. You can obviously add bulbs or take bulbs out as you see fit. You just have to know how to do it. So uh, this is step one. And now let's talk about how to wire this up to the DMX. Let's talk about how to get this into your DMX chain. I'm using a Flex Max, but there are other controllers out there, Arduino, I'm sure there's PLC and uh, some other stuff that can control DMX, but this is what we use, this is what the video is about, okay? So if you have a Flex Max 2, you're gonna just plug the ethernet cable here uh, into the DMX out, and you're gonna need to get one of these DMX uh, to, to uh, Ethernet cables here, okay? Now, here's the thing. These are not all created equal. I bought like four of them and the three of them did not work, okay? Because they were wired differently or they were wired not even 
for Ethernet. It was very strange. So this is the one I have found that works the best uh, for so far. And so I will leave a link in the description for this. But this is going to plug into your Ethernet cable here like that. And then you will take and plug this into your thing. And there you go. It's ready to go into your FlexMax. Now, real quick, if you are not using a FlexMax 2 and are still on the old FlexMax 216Ss, uh, you're gonna need to wire them up to this port here. The instructions tell you how, uh, but it works similarly to this thing here. This is a DMX to Ethernet with screw terminals here. As you can see, it's got both like this. This is so you can do in and out. And as you can see here, uh, I have the, let me get a little closer on that so you can see it. The brown twisted pair is wired to ground. The orange is wired to D negative or on a, or if you're on here, it'll be, uh, where is it, two negative. And then over here is D positive, which is three positive over here on the on that old FlexMax. So that's kind of the wiring standard that you're using here with the ethernet cable. So if you need to make one, that's kind of what you're gonna have to do like that. If you wanna make one, obviously you can just buy one of these and make your own cable if you are that kind of person who knows how to do that stuff and likes to do that stuff, you can get these little ends and just make your own cable. But uh, as I said, the easiest, thing that I have found is just using one of these cables here and this thing here. And I guess the easiest, easiest thing is if you already have DMX fixtures in your room, you can just take your light or whatever, fog machine and whatever it is, and stick it into the DMX out of your system like this. And then, then that's it. They put that at the end of your chain and that would probably be the easiest, easiest thing. But next to that, if you just wanna use the light bulbs, uh, you're gonna to wanna to use one of these cables right here. So there you go. Once you get that set up, we'll go into the software and show you how to make it all talk to each other. Here's how you're gonna program your transmitter on the DMX here. You go to add DMX slave, DMX device, and you create a custom show here. Now I've already done it. Uh, but I'm going to walk you through it right here. So you want channel one through five. Uh, channel one is red. Channel two is green. Channel three is blue. Channel four is natural white, bright white. And uh, number five is warm white. You can name these whatever you want. Over here, you can set the color for whatever you want. Uh, don't worry about mask. And over here, you've got the value, which most people start at zero. You can start at anywhere, but zero is, is good. Now, this is if you just want to do one light bulb right here, right? If this is just one light bulb on one channel, then this is all you need, uh, or multiple light bulbs on one channel is what I should say. One through five is one channel. This is channel one on the transmitter right here. And if you go down, I'll show you here on this one. This is bulbs on channel one and channel two. So you see one through five is what we set up, and then six through 10, is here. So if you were to do 11 through 15, that would be channel three and so forth all the way through. So uh, you can have multiple bulbs on one channel. They say infinite bulbs, which I don't think we can test that, but uh, you get what you get the idea. And then of course uh, you can have that way you can group bulbs individually or uh, together, right? So you would uh, create your uh, your your fixture and you would add it and it would come down here and it would get the DMX address and you would set the DMX address on the transmitter. And uh, if you're just doing the single bulb, the one channel, uh, then you, I'm going to use the, um, the virtual console here so you can see here in the pop-up the bulbs. I'm just controlling the bulbs here to do whatever colors I want like this. You can see like that. Uh, the one downside this thing has is it doesn't have a whole brightness slider. So that is that is the one downside to this, but yeah, there are workarounds for that. So there's that. And then of course there's your natural white, which is very bright. And then here's your warm white, which is your typical, you know, warm white. Uh, now, again, if you're controlling multiple bulbs, so you would go here so that you would set this bulb to whatever color you want. And then you would come over here and you would do the same thing on this bulb because this is on channel two. It's a separate channel entirely. 
So you could have your, uh, you could have, uh, let's, let's just crank this all the way. That's a purple right there. It's a very bright purple. Let's crank that down a little bit. There we go, like that. And so this way you can control different bulbs uh, like that. Now let's say you want them to do something, some sort of uh, flicker or something like that. Well, over here, I've already got that set up. You can see here that I have each bulb set to flicker at a different, uh, different color, but they are this repeating the same pattern. And I'll show you why in a second. So if I do this, you can see the bulbs are now flickering for whatever reason like that. Now, if you were to come over here and change that frequency, like if I do uh, this, this is flicker effect that we're, we're running here, uh, you can live preview this. You can see how the color of the bulb changes there. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the blue turned to green sometimes there on the screen. And that is because of just the frequencies not matching. So if you need the bulb to stay the same color and flicker, the frequencies have to match like this. Uh, but that's pretty much it. It's just like any other normal DMX thing. You just have to set it up. Now, obviously, if you do all 16 channels, you're going to have one very large uh, DMX fixture here with 80 channels. But, uh, but that is how you set up Director and use it to do uh, whatever you want to do with your DMX. Uh, it's great that you can just have these bulbs do whatever you want them to do, change colors at, um, at will. And just, uh, and like the, here, one of the things that we, uh, we're using it for is during the reset uh, of a room, you can have the room be a bright white so they can re your, your game masters can reset a room how it should be. And then when the room starts, then it can be, you know, if it's an under underwater scene, you know, then you're, you're, it can be a blue color or something like that. So I think these are going to really help people be able to make their rooms look cool and theatrical. So that's all it takes to get DMX controlled light bulbs into your room or whatever it is that you are making. It's that easy, it's no complicated setup, and it's pretty plug and play. And if you end up making something with an infinite amount of light bulbs in it, we really want to see that. Please check out these other videos that we have for you that uh, we do teaching, we show behind the scenes, and have more videos just like this. So feel free to click on those. And if you have any questions, hit us up at testsubjects.com, and we'll see you next time.